so pregnant. Five weeks left to go. Hey everybody. 35 weeks today. Three, five. And yes, if my calculations are correct, <laughs> that is five weeks left till 40. So it is down to the single digits, single hand digit counting. <laughs> I'm wearing my Wonder Woman shirt today, even though it doesn't really fit anymore. <laughs> I'm wearing it because I feel good this week. Like last week was all about how tired I was and just having to deal with that extreme exhaustion of just wanting to sleep. But I feel like my energy's come back. Um, I still have like a hard time breathing because my lungs are being squished, but I can tell that I don't feel nearly as exhausted as I did last week. Thank goodness. So I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling like Wonder Woman right now. So I thought I'd channel that. The biggest thing that happened this past week, of course, was the hospital tour and getting to see where the baby will be born and where I will be delivering and laboring. And it was so a slap of reality because I was like, okay, when I come here to deliver, we will go home with a little child human that belongs to us forever. <laughs> this is happening, you can't stop it. The hospital tour was very informative. I'm, I'm really glad that we got to go and the lady that was giving the tour did a really good job of answering a lot of questions that I already had. So we got to see the rooms of course and we did get to go through all of that and see where the family can wait and um, vending machines because you know that's the important stuff <laughs> vending machines you know, they let you not have to be constantly hooked up and monitored if you know of course if everything is going smoothly this isn't you know anything abnormal but if everything's going smoothly it's just you know they check the baby's heart rate every now and then and then you don't have to constantly be hooked up. One of the things I'm most excited about with this hospital is that the fact that they let you labor in a tub. So you can't deliver in the water, you can't have a water birth, but they do have a, basically it's like a hot tub, but it's called like a hydro something therapy, something fancy, but it's pretty much just a hot tub. And they do let you labor in there, which is exciting because I have really wanted to try that and I, was hoping that they would have that as an option. Who knows, I may hate, I may absolutely hate it. I may get in the water with all this labor cramps and be like, get me out of here, it's too hot. I don't know, so we'll see. But I'm glad that it's an option and that it is there available for me. They, of course, promote skin to skin right away, which I'm really excited about that too. They're gonna plop the baby on my chest and of course Josh gets to cut the umbilical cord. Um, so they're really big on promoting that. They don't just whisk away the baby. Again, provided that everything is okay and not, and there's no emergency. That kind of brings me to my birth plan and what that means to me exactly. So I wrote out, I have here my birth plan and I wrote it out and it's very simple. And I'll show you guys. Birth plan, have a healthy baby exclamation point. I'm not trying to knock anyone that puts together a binder full with tabs or types out a birth plan or anything like that. I mean that's obviously your choice. But I just, for me, I feel that if I try to go too much with too much control, like I feel like, oh, it has to go this way. When things don't, I'm going to start to panic. Or if things don't go a certain way, I may feel like a failure. So. I want to try, I have a goal in mind and my goal is to give birth naturally. I shouldn't even say naturally, I should say unmedicated because every woman who gives birth, it's natural. So C-section or, or epidural, whatever, if you gave birth, it's a natural birth. So my plan is to try really hard to not, um, to not take an epidural, to not use any medication and 
do it unmedicated and it's funny when you say that to people and then they laugh at you or they give you their horror stories <laughs> and I'm really excited I mean I'm I'm I see it as a challenge and, and as I'm excited and it's scary, you know, as it's getting closer, like this baby has to come out. <laughs> How I feel about that, about the birth plan and I'm not gonna type one up or anything. I mean, I've talked to my midwife and she knows, you know, how I feel about all, you know, the information. I wanna go in with an open mind and a strong heart. No, I don't know that's cheesy, but <laughs> I want to go in and just get it and do good and labor as best as I possibly can labor <laughs> and push a baby out my vagina if that's what I need to do, if that's what it comes to. If not, then C-section. If epidural, then so be it. <sighs> and that is what I have to say about that. As far as symptoms and things that have happened this week, I have been having really bad acid reflux. I've kind of had it this whole pregnancy, um, but it used to only really affect me if I would eat like fast food. Um, I would just, I would really feel it. But now it's like no matter what I eat, I feel like my stomach is right here. And I feel like no matter what I eat, like it never goes past like this level. And I just feel it sitting right there and coming back up a little bit. It's kind of gross, but I'm just, I'm just um, putting that to the fact that the baby's bigger and he is probably pushing my stomach up. So that's kind of like, <clears throat> I don't know, it's gross. I have to like keep mints with me because I just feel gross about it. This was so exciting and I am almost 100% sure this is what I saw, but <laughs> it may not have been, but I'm almost 100% sure I saw the baby taking practice breaths. and. It was so weird to see. I wish I could have caught it on camera, but I didn't have a camera around and then I couldn't get up so it was probably gonna stop. It was like, you know, if you have like a cat or a dog or like an animal and, and they're asleep and you like put a blanket over them, like you can still see, you know, their chest rising. That's what I was seeing like in my stomach. And I put my hand on there and it, it didn't feel like a roll or a punch or a kick. It felt like, Breathing. I mean, it was like a breath. <laughs> they are practice breathing, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And if it wasn't, well, then I feel really dumb. But I wish I could have caught it on camera. It was so cute, and I was just like, oh, I just saw oh, you're so cute already, and I can't even see you yet, and you're already making me so proud. One thing that I completely, completely forgot about when having a little boy. <laughs> is the fact of the decision on whether to circumcise or not. So at the hospital tour, you know, like, oh, if you're gonna, if you're having a boy and you are gonna decide to circumcise, this is, da -da -da. I was like, wow, I completely forgot about the circumcision and if that's a decision that we want to make. And I, um, I don't really wanna get into it too much and I don't want this to become like a, debate or anything um, because I know it's a very controversial topic and it's a very you know people are very passionate about it um, and we still are deciding on what we're gonna do but I will tell you that for the first time this whole pregnancy I have never felt motherly instincts kick in more than I did when this topic came up I've heard people say before, you know, and of course even your own parents tell you like, you know, you would be willing to die for your kids and you would kill for your children and you, if anything, if any harm ever happened to them. And before having kids and even before even being pregnant, but not, not the way that it hit me now, you know, I was like, I don't know, I mean, do I really want to die? Like dying's scary. Like I know you say that. Would you really want to hurt someone for hurting your child or would you really be willing to do that for your child? But I've never felt so strongly of wanting to hurt someone <laughs> for this little baby that's not even born yet. There's still a lot of discussion that Josh and I need to talk about and what we need to do and um, ultimately it is our decision so 
I mean, you're more than welcome to leave comments down below if you've had experiences and stuff. But I guess the point of just saying all of that was just the fact that for the first time I felt like so strongly, I have never had this feeling before of just wanting like mama bear claws coming out and just like wanting to hurt someone who would dare hurt my child like in any way not even just talking about that but just thinking about anyone ever hurting my child period and i was like literally sick to my stomach thinking of something bad happening to this little baby and so the last thing that i want to kind of talk about is that um instead of doing the normal belly shots that i do I, yesterday, um, I uploaded a video of me dancing. I don't know if any of you know him, Joshua D down, or Joshua D, he's a uh, boyfriend of Miranda Sings or Colleen. And they put out like a funny little vlog with me, like spoof video, but it was really good and like the music was actually really good and it reminded me of like 2000s era boy band sort of music. <laughs> And there was like a break dance to it. I was like, man, this is really good. I want to dance. So I'll put that instead of my belly shots that I normally do. I'm going to put that because you still get to see my belly. Don't judge me too much. And <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. And <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And next week we'll be down to one month. <laughs> we'll be down to the four weeks. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye. Taste break.